Hello everyone, my name is Ron Kotlick. I am the instructor for this course, EET 506, and welcome to our first week together. Uh, most of you look at the roster, I've not had in other classes, but in case someone new <laughs> is at it at the last moment, uh, we use these sort of videos and these action sheets to keep everything organized on a week to week basis. All right, so hopefully this will be good for you. So our first uh, week is a little bit short because we usually start on the following previous Saturday, but we're starting on the Monday the 23rd and going through the 29th. Don't mind the bells, I apologize. Now, I'm gonna ask you to read the syllabus very carefully. It says again, uh, let me have any, any questions and we'll go over the syllabus momentarily. So our weekly schedule begins on a Saturday and ends the following Sunday. And we use Schoology as our main learning management system for the course. Again, like most of the courses in this program, our goal is to give you skills and tools that you can use with your students immediately. And many schools are using either Schoology or Moto or Google Classroom as a way to organize digital and online content for their students. Uh, so we'd like to use that as well. All right, so here's a video. If you don't know how to use Schoology, it will help you with all of that. And there's some great guides to help you set up all your uh, accounts and to navigate our library's databases, which are all found in the course setup materials folder uh, on Schoology. And we'll go back to that in a moment. All right, so here's the syllabus. Let's take a look at it. There's a link to it. All right, so let me just kind of make this in full screen if I can here. Beautiful. All right, so here we are in full screen. It's a little small. Let's get to a little bit bigger here. So get that a little bigger so we can sort of see it. Looks like it's using the app to do that. So let me get out of here. Uh, I'm using a Chromebook and sometimes that's way too big. Uh, I have the Dropbox app on my Chromebook. Uh, so sometimes that will go right to the app rather than looking from a, a uh, tab. So this looks a lot better. So here I am, there's my phone number. If you want to give me a call or send me a text, if you have any questions about the course or issue with an assignment or anything you like, certainly I'll respond to you. So this is a great course on new literacies, right? Taking liter li traditional literary aspects of reading and writing and analysis, and now take that to a new level and bring in like technology and bring in multimedia and multimodal aspects uh, to really engage your students. So this is, I think, a really fun course. I do this a lot with my own students constantly. Uh, so this will be a really a lot of fun. Uh, so I will post my get to know later, but if you don't know me, I'm the director of the program here at Canisius, but I am also a high school history teacher at Clarence High School. Uh, so I have my own students and I'm constantly doing this with my own students. So I hope this is a good way for us to really work together and share what we're doing uh, in our own classrooms. Okay, so you can please read through all of this. I don't wanna read through it word for word here. It'll be a very boring video, but definitely take a look. It gives you some great insights into what these new literacies are. Here are the course objectives, certainly. Okay, and there is going to be a common assignment uh, for the portfolio, which I'll get to, there's a link to it, which will have you doing some research and then creating a video that's engaging and interactive that represents that research. So a great example of the new literacies. All right, and working on special circumstances about writing ability, how important it is to write in a scholarly level and have well-developed posts. So please read through that very, very carefully. Uh, usually our posts are due on a Wednesday night and then our replies by the following Sunday, a minimum of two or more times uh, to other people in the course. This is another small section. We ran this section as well in the summertime. We had a lot of students there in the summer, so it seems like uh, we're a little bit lighter now in the fall, so that's actually good for you. So we certainly have a little more individualized at attention uh, here in this particular section uh, for the fall. Uh, so more about discussions and any sort of written work or deliverable or activity is, used, is usually due by Sunday. All right, issue about incompletes and plagiarism. And here's a link to the common assignment. Uh, we will come back to that later, but if we have a moment here, I'll go. We can look at it, and also the uh, rubric for the common assignment. All right. So here's just all the rubrics for the. This is the discussion. This is a deliverable rubric. Excuse me, on a written aspect. So go through that carefully. And following that is the discussion rubric. Uh, so make sure you look at that carefully as well. How I will grade discussions, and these rubrics are all on Schoology as well. So I use these directly uh, to grade your work. Now here is our schedule. Uh, we're gonna get into this topic of what is the new literacies and so forth. And we're gonna get into research design and qualitative research. And we do a lot with either Glocks or Lucid Press. Uh, so there's some technologies that we're gonna learn here, Lucid Charts, uh, certainly a lot of Google aspects, 
uh, Noodle tools, Google Docs, and things of that nature. Uh, I might push us more to the Google end because, again, we're really trying to do multiple things in this program, and one of them is to get you prepared also to take the Google Level 1 and Level 2 certification exam. So anywhere in this course where I can in inject that, I certainly will. All right, so here we go. Here are some important things to look at. Please take care, take this carefully. How you create your accounts? Uh, you can create as a student or as an instructor. Uh, usually, if you create a student account, it doesn't really matter. But if you create an instructor account, sometimes schools block the ability. If you're using schools, you get your school already. Sometimes I can't send you a direct message if your school blocks that. So just be aware that you might want to create another Schoology account uh, under a different email if you're already using Schoology at your school presently. So sometimes some things are blocked. All right. So there is the, you go to courses and you go to join and you enter in this code to join our course on Schoology. We're also going to use turnin.com. It's a great place to collect work and also to grade work. Uh, and here's the directions just to go to turn it in and you're going to use this. This is the class ID and there is the password, Fort Niagara. Uh, I used to actually work at Fort Niagara when I was in college, a little bit of graduate school uh, as a British soldier. Uh, it's actually where I met my wife as well. So it was a wonderful place and we still go there a lot as a family. Uh, so please go to turn it in and create your account. We're also going to use WeVideo extensively in this course as a great tool for new literacies. I'm a huge advocate of WeVideo. I use it a lot with my students. Right now I'm piloting a group of teachers through Clarence to help them use video, use WeVideo more proactively. So here's the registration. I'm going to have to approve you, uh, but that, that there's the invite, okay? And then the Noodle tools to collect research and note cards. There's the link for that as well. Okay, so there is the course setup. So let's go into Schoology and let me go right back to our main page here. So this is what you're going to see, okay, on Schoology. Uh, this is, there's the syllabus. Here's a folder of all the action sheets. But I also put an action sheet in the module so you can go to either place. Uh, and this is the course setup materials folder. Okay, so let's go there first actually because I mentioned that in our introduction. All right. And there is a great survey to take about your knowledge of technology already, a great help sheet on our databases, uh, some great free tech publications to use for research, a turn it in setup, and also a link to Noodle Tools to register at for Kinesis, and a whole folder of resources on WeVideo, which we will come back to. All right, but if you're having problems registering for us, WeVideo, go here first, creating your Kinesis WeVideo account. This will really guide you through the process. All right, so let's go back to our main folder here. Now, I think I already forgot to change the dates on some of these things, but I will change it <laughs> today right after we get out of here. Our discussions are not due in May, um, certainly, so I will change this. Uh, but here's our action sheet for the week, and here's the materials for the week. I try to keep it separated for you, keep it nice and organized. Um, I give you this whole book on the new literacies. Obviously, you don't have to read the whole book this week. I just want you to know there's a lot of great topics here. So some of the chapters might deal more with your area. You might want to gravitate towards those. A nice article about the new literacies of the 21st century. Uh, a good article by Klanis and Coleman about new literacy aspects. And Siegel reading the signs. And then I got some great links to some great new literacy uh, websites and labs and so forth. So these are some really great materials for the week. Okay, so uh, here's our discussion. Let's go back to the action sheet. Okay, so we can kind of guide you through this. So here we are. We're going to read the articles in the module one folder on new literacies. Okay, and here's your post for the week. This is what I want you to focus on as you're reading the materials. Okay, and we're going to post to the module one discussion. All right, here's a direction video on how to post if you're unfamiliar with that. And this is going to be due by Thursday. Usually we're done due by Wednesday, but because we start late, we are going to be due on Thursday, October 26th, which is actually my 15th wedding anniversary. So <laughs> there you go. Um, I promise you I won't be reading posts. Hopefully we'll be out at dinner, uh, but be post by 11.59 p.m. That'd be wonderful. By the following Sunday, the 29th, uh, you're going to complete the technology survey in the course setup folder that I showed you. Uh, you're going to create a get to know. If you already done for one for another class, you want to use it again, that's fine. But if you maybe update it or you got some new things you want to share with us, that would be great. It could be a screencast, an audio, a video, anything you want to really use, show off your technology skills. And that's in the get to know discussion. So we go back to our uh, folder. There's the get to know discussion. Please post it there. Okay. And you're going to register for Turn It In, Noodle Tools, and We Video. All of that was at the end of the syllabus, right? All the codes were all right here. 
how to do all that at the end of the syllabus. All right, so make sure you go back to that, please. And then there's another little separate, you're gonna certainly post our students' replies by the end of the week. But then I'm gonna have you do one little extra thing. Uh, you're gonna go to that uh, Clanets and Cope and Coleman article. Since we're using it here, you don't have to use it in your initial discussion post. And I want you to write a detailed response, a summary of the two readings. So you really don't wanna use those here in your discussion post. You can focus on these in your end writing post. Compare and contrast the ideas here. And we're gonna drop this in the turn it in drop box. Okay, so if you go to turn it in, uh, there's going to be our class and there's the drop to upload your paper. Now I put a drop here, this just to remind you to, to do this, but don't submit anything there, okay? So we're using Turnitin and Schoology, combination of both here. All right, so there we go. We're off and running in our first week together. Uh, so if you have any questions, let me know and I'm really looking forward to working with everyone. All right, have a great day everyone. Take care, bye-bye.